Good showing up there, what do you think of it? Yeah, that no, was solid, uh, you know, 
know he got, uh, he got some good minutes of the players who needed it and um, against good quality opposition and our football was uh, was pretty good, especially in the first half. I think we played some, some good football and uh, so overall it was uh, yeah, a lot more positives. So, you know, there's still stuff we need to walk, work on. We got a little bit ragged in the second half and uh, still things we need to fine tune for the start of the season. It was, uh, it was a decent hit out for us. To what extent is the pressure in the front third? In your success, that's been something that's quite noticeable this season in comparison to past. Yeah, we're working hard on that. And obviously, uh, you know, it's a part of our game. We thought we, we, we probably struggled in last year. And we just want to become a, a better defensive team all around and, and work a bit harder in the right areas. And, uh, yeah, I thought Archie and, and, and Mitch uh, in particular really set the standard today in the first half. We you know, worked really hard and pressurising the opposition. And it just means, you know, you. you they don't get a moment's rest when we've got the ball, we're at them, and we don't have the ball, we're at them. So, it's stuff we've been working on, and then, like I said, for the first half, it was good, second half, not second half. How happy were you with the new players in Travis Archie's first game back in the preseason? First game, he's been here for 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, uh, obviously Pablo and James came in very late in the piece, and uh, it, it's been good to, for us to be here. Uh, you know, this trip's been really worthwhile for us. Um, as you can see, the, the, the facilities have been fantastic, and we, you know, getting Pablo in and James, they get settle in with the players, and, and you know, um, really get comfortable. And, and uh, considering it was their first hit out, Pablo, I mean, he's an experienced guy. He knows what he's doing out there. We didn't really have to tell him. And he was happy to play ninety, but I thought getting an hour out of him was good. And, and James, you know, literally, we just throw the three him on. He's only had two sessions with the boys, but no, it's good for them to settle in. And you can see Mitch and, and Costa are now starting to settle in terms of our game plan. So. We've still got uh, two weeks, and we're going to need two weeks to, to just fine tune things. But yeah, signs are promising from those two. What were the factors in the difference between the first half and the second half? It's obviously, the first half half was much better than the second. Oh, just the game became a bit scrappy, you know, it just dropped in intensity a little bit, and uh, we sort of dragged ourselves down that level. So, I mean, having said that, we still had some good opportunities to, to score, and you know, we, we haven't taken our opportunities, we would have maintained our intensity. But, uh, and yeah, we, then we made substitutions, they made substitutions, and I guess, um, you know, it's just natural progression. The game sort of deteriorates a little bit, but, you know, there's still stuff that we need to do better, and, you know, we have to be better in some areas, uh, which we were in the second half. What were your thoughts on the, the Wanderers, and um, did you take anything into the match when you played the regular season? No, look, I mean, they had, they had probably the strongest line about there, but, you know, it's pre-season, I mean, Really, the opposition, you, you pay little attention to them, and I'm sure they paid little attention to us. And the result becomes irrelevant. They, 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 you know, they're at a different stage of preparation, and, and you know, I guess for every coach, just about making sure we're out, ready for round one. At some point, uh, you know, uh, playing these games with the intent of trying to be the best you can be today, it's about being the best we can be on, you know, first round. So, um, you know, they're a good team, and, and you know, I'm sure come round one they'll be ready. First of all, uh, what do you think of the crowd? Yeah, it was good. It was, it was a great day. It was, it was a great atmosphere, I thought. And, uh, you know, as usual, Tassie turned on the weather, which we expected. So, um, that was a joke, by the way. I'll leave the gags there. <laughs> but, uh, no, look, it was a great day. Like I said, it's been a great, it's been a great five days for us. Um, you know, I'll be, you know, a bit, you know, whinging a bit in the pre-season about some of the facilities we've had to play on and stuff, but you know, this is the kind of thing that, that sort of encourages us to, to keep coming back here and forging the relationship because we got really well looked after and, and it became a meaningful part of our pre-season and uh, capped off by today. It was a good game. Both games were good, I thought. You know, the first game and the second game, plenty of goals for, for the supporters and um, yeah, it kind of capped off a good week for us. Archie, there seem to be some similarities the way you worked with uh, Mitch, the way you worked last year with Marco. Do you think you can get the same value out of that sort of uh, combination? Yeah, I think I could probably get him to the Bundesliga. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, look, uh, Mitch was a commission. <laughs> yeah, this time, yes. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Mitch is a quality player and also Costa. And, um, we've got some good players and there's a lot of depth and uh, I think this year especially there's going to be uh, a lot of spots up for grabs so everyone has to work hard and I think today was a good example of uh, what we can do and obviously first half was better than the second half but we'll keep working on it. We've got a good two weeks to the start of the season and this is always good to test ourselves against a good opposition in Western Sydney who uh, pride themselves in defence and the score could have been a lot different if, if we had taken our chances in the first half but 
the most important thing is that we're improving and we'll be right for two, in two weeks' time. I know it's only a pre-season match, but do you guys think that your favourites this year with a few acquisitions that you've got? Um, I don't know. I think we just, we'll just leave it up to you to decide if we're going to be favourites or not. We know what we, what we want to do this year. Uh, we know we've got a good side, we've got depth, we've got some good players. So um, it's just a matter of us applying it when it comes to game day. So like I said, we've got a good two weeks of training and uh, a couple more games and we'll see what the start of the season brings. Archie, to what extent have you had to change uh, your play with the new guys in the NFL? Um, look, I think we've got to we've got to keep improving because uh, I think last year we were disappointed that we didn't go that step further to make the grand final. And you know, each year you got to keep keep on improving. And I think um, we're doing it. That's myself too. I'm, I'm still learning. Um, obviously, I still work very hard because, like I said, there's some good players in, in, in my position and in a lot of the positions. So again, a lot of. Um, Work has to be done. So, but I'm I'm excited about this season. Um, that was my first sort of hit out. I don't know I've been here 30 years, but that was my first hit out in a couple of months. So, that felt good, and um, I've got a good two weeks. And so, yeah, we'll see what happens. So, have you had to change anyway? Given that you know you're coming in, you've got basically the same sort of role as what right now. Yeah, no, it's just, like, just got to just work a bit harder. Like we obviously want to put pressure on team and teams and, and not let them off the hook. And, uh, and make sure we keep applying pressure, and that's what we tried to do today. And we're going to keep working on it in the next two weeks. And uh, we want to—we obviously want to take our game to another level and our club to another level. Thanks, guys. Ante, are you disappointed with that result? Yeah, obviously we go into every game as a, as a football club looking to win. So um, you know, the result wasn't ideal, but we've got some good minutes under our legs. Hopefully the Shinji looks all right, so um, I don't think we got any injuries from the game against a quality opposition on a good surface, so it was a good hit out for us, good preparation, and uh, in the second half there was a few positives there. What do you think was the main issue? A couple of things, but it doesn't, doesn't help when we start the, the game the way we did, to go a goal behind. Um, we didn't cope well in the first half with their, with their formation. With the way they played without a, you know, an out and out striker, and number nine, I think it was a lot of indecision from us when to go with the man, when to drop off. They created a lot of space in behind us. So that was something that we, you know, adjusted at half time, and I felt we did better in the second half with that. In saying that, when we did have the ball, we kept it a little bit better in the second half, and that helps. And you know, we tried to play a little bit more and got ourselves into the game, and I think at 2 0. We created some half chances, looking like we we're going to score and get back to 2-1. can see another soft one, and, and that was the game. For a team which prides itself on its defence, don't they? They were, they were poor goals, we can see. Yeah, that. of course, poor goals. Uh, the players know that. You know, we'll, we'll obviously uh, go over the video. But um, with the experience we've got, as I mentioned earlier, to start a game like that, going 1-0 down against quality with so many attacking players, you, you, you can't do that, and that's why... You know, pre-season is so important, especially when you get closer to the season against quality, you'll, you'll get punished. And maybe earlier on, a couple of months ago, you won't. So again, some good lessons for us. We've learned. We will learn from that. And, um, you know, we don't expect to see that again come come start of the season. Once you started uh, using your bench, you got a bit of momentum. I mean, does that mean that the players who weren't in the starting 11 have, have helped their cause a little bit today? Oh, uh, look. We'll count on all the players. I mean, uh, some guys got more minutes in, in previous games and today the way we've gone for our pre-season, we, we don't have a first 11 and, and, and a second 11. We have everyone fighting for a spot. Some guys needed some extra minutes today, so they've got them, but the others had them previous in our, in our preparation. So um, and we've also got a couple of new, new players there adjusting to the way we play also. But again, um, when I look at our pre-season from, from last year to this year, I'm quite happy with the way it's gone and um, you know, it'll be interesting come round one.